Hey, it's the Boomer Consumer, and this episode's all about the Fosse Audio K5 Pro gaming DAC and headphone amplifier. As a disclaimer, this was sent to me at no cost by Fosse Audio. However, all opinions are my own, and no one has reviewed this video prior to posting. For more information, I do have an Amazon link down in the description below. So who is this made for? Well, this is made for desktop gaming, your PC, your Mac, or console. It does work with the PS5. However, if you're going to use it with the Xbox Series X or S, then you'll need to use the optical audio out of those consoles into the K5 Pro. The price as the date of this recording is only $79. It makes it a killer deal when you consider everything that this device can do. Okay, let's go over the specifications of the K5 Pro. First off, it has the Texas Instruments NE5532 op, uh, op amp chip. You get USB input, you get coaxial input, optical input. You have an input here for your microphone, and then you have an output on the front as well for a headphone. So those are the inputs and outputs. That's quite a few that you can use. As far as the uh, DAC, it's rated at 24-bit to 192 kilohertz. Output power is 8,000 milliwatts at 16 ohms. 500 at 32, 300 at 64, and then 150 at 128 ohms, and 80 at 300 ohms. I use this with the uh, Hi-Fi Man uh, Edition XS headphones for testing it with music from my iPad. Rated frequency response is between 20 and 20 kilohertz. Recommended headphone impedance for this is between 16 to 300 ohms, so it should drive just about any headphone very, very well. Looking at the front of the K5 Pro, you have three LEDs up here, and that uh, signifies what input source you're using in a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You get the 3.5 millimeter uh, uh, microphone jack, and then you have Tone controls, that's right, you have tr uh, bass and treble. Both have a center detent on there, so as you're moving around. And these are a nice metal uh, knobs on here. So good knob feel. It's not detented, but you definitely have that center detent on those. And then you have a multifunction switch here. Functions as a volume control, and then off and on as well as well as selecting your input. So those are the controls on the front of the K5 Pro. On the back, turn this around, you have USB-C input, which runs on five volts. I ran this off my iPad and it worked just fine. Coaxial input, your optical input, and then you have a pair of RCA output jacks as well. On the bottom, you have some nice rubber feet on here to keep it from sliding around on your desktop. We'll put that back into place real quick here for you. There we go. All right, in the box, you're going to get, of course, the K5 Pro. You're also going to get a nice optical cable. You're going to get a headphone splitter on here, 3.5 millimeter to 2, 3.5 millimeter, as well as a USB C to type A cable. That's what's included in the box. Oh, and you also get this little handy dandy user manual. As I mentioned, this is designed for PC gaming as well as your PS5 and other consoles. However, you do, if you're using Xbox, you do have to use the optical audio out. You could use it as a preamp because you do have this nice handy dandy volume control on here. Now, I use this source's uh, an iPad Pro for listening to music and an Alienware desktop or laptop, I should say, for uh, for gaming. And I happen to use this with Microsoft Flight Simulator. And one thing I liked is you didn't get much in the way of crosstalk with the mic uh, input on here, which is a very good thing because uh, on some of them you just get this kind of noise and staticky type of sound. Did not run into that with the uh, K5 Pro. For music, uh, just some sample uh, that I use. Now, I, I actually have quite a long playlist that I put it through. 
But I played uh, Juno Wins the World Cup. I think that used to be called Scientists Win the World Cup. It's kind of a reggae. You, you just have to hear it. It's a fantastic sounding album. Then uh, went to Hey Jude from the Beatles. What I've found is that the top end, the highs on here, were, were it's pretty bright. And I found myself using the tone controls to dial back the treble a little bit. And then I also noticed when I was listening to Dire Straits, Sultans of Swing, that the bass seemed a little bit weak on here. So I found myself turning up the bass tone control just to make the bass sound satisfactory for me. Now, as far as the weight, it only weighs 0.55 pounds, and the measurements is 4.4 inches in length by 4. Point, or 3.7 inches in width, and then you have about 1.2 inches in height. So it's about just slightly bigger than a deck of playing cards. It's portable, man. You can throw this in a backpack, in a bag, whatever, and take that with you and use it with your device on the go. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. First off, for the pros, you get a really great price for a good combination DAC and headphone amplifier. The build quality, a metal cabinet on here, aluminum, feels very, very well made. You get a nice small footprint. You can power it off a USB so you don't have to drag around a wall ward if you don't want to. A large number of inputs with USB-C, optical, and coaxial. The mic works very, very well on here, and it's just so hard to beat it for the price. As far as the cons are concerned, it's not really an audiophile grade DAC. If, you're going to, if your main interest is music listening, I think you can find better if you just save a little bit more money to go with this. However, for gaming, it's just fine for you know vo vocals, voice. And yeah, it's okay with music, but like I said, the, I think the highs are a little bit fatiguing and the bass is a bit weak with it. This is not an audiophile uh, grade DAC on here. So I just think it's a bit less than ideal for music uh, reproduction. So the final verdict is I think it's great for desktop gaming. I think you're getting a really good deal. It's well built and you're getting an outstanding price for it. But if you are looking for an audiophile grade DAC amp combo, you probably want to save your money and put a little bit more with it to get something a little bit better. But for its intended purpose as a gaming headphone DAC, you're going to be pretty hard pressed to beat the price of $79. And that is my overview of the Fossey Audio K5 Pro desktop gaming DAC and amplifier. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.